there. What made the American pe- people so willing to have such an uh, bloated administrative state? Yeah, it was a sort of laziness in our culture. It actually started with laziness of the elected officials, right? So initially, the way it was supposed to work was the people who showed up in Congress and in the U.S. Senate, they're supposed to have the actual lawmaking authority, but also accountability. They started to get a little lazy with that accountability. These bills get into the specifics of those details. That's a little too hard to deal with. Presidents who we elected in the White House started to similarly get lazy, saying that, well, you know, the budgeting process, I'm supposed to ask Congress for permission to spend money. It's a little too complicated. Let me delegate that down. So it was sort of a dual delegation. The president of the United States started to get a little lazy. Congress started to get a little lazy. They said, let's just create this third party apparatus, three letter agencies where we don't actually have to be accountable for the result because we can blame it on them if things go badly. But if things go well, we're still the people who the public knows. And I think it, they started attracting very attention-hungry people to those roles as well. That's what created it, is people who wanted the glory without the accountability. Yeah, They shunted the accountability to a third unspoken class. So the Capitol is a beautiful building, right? But the... U.S. Department of Education or the IRS or the FBI, these are drab government buildings. Nobody visits that when they visit Washington, D.C. Let's put the real accountability over there. But then the people who actually said, okay, we're going to assume that position, they're not the people who actually needed the fame or the glory. They're the people who actually needed the exercise of power. Mm. And, And so in a certain way, everyone got what they needed out of the trade, right? The people who were running for elected office today, many of them just want to get on cable news on a given night of the week. Well, the same principle applied to actually the people who didn't necessarily care about getting attention, but just actually wanted to exercise raw power. And so there was a division of those who got attention, that's what they wanted, versus those who got power because that's what they wanted. And that steadied in this new equilibrium of having this administrative state that said, okay, we'll exercise all the power. You guys just get to get to pretend like you have it and get your dopamine hits from getting on television or getting your attention along the way. That's. A long story short, a big part of what happened. Part of what I really appreciate about that explanation is you mentioned it just starting with a little bit of laziness. Elected representatives not wanting to do their job to the fullest and most rigorous possible extent and essentially abdicating by trying to delegate to people it shouldn't have been delegated to uh, 